guys and welcome back to another brand new video here today upon my channel guys today my friends are going to be diving back into call of duty world war 2 multiplayer and today my friends we're going to be using another heroic variant we're going to be using the jawbreaker 2 which is a heroic variant of the assault rifle the m1941 and i see it as with this particular heroic variant it looks really really nice trust me it's got some nice engravings on it i love the sort of like blacky gold sort of effect that some of these heroic variants do have but this one this one's just absolutely beautiful obviously for attachments wise I have got a quick draw I've got a grip I've got a red dot sight and of course I've got a long barrel on it so it's gonna help when it comes to them great engagements and help me to be a little bit more precise with my aiming even though I can use this weapon iron sighted it has got some nice iron sights on it but I don't know when it comes to these sort of assault rifles I like to Stick a scope on them like every now and then, you know what I mean? It's just one of them things. But let me know down below in the comment section do you have the Jawbreaker 2? Love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And what do you think of the design of this weapon? Like, like of this heroic variant? I think it looks so, so good. I'm not gonna lie, guys, it does look really nice. It's very nice there, dropping them down like flies. Ooh. Ooh. Cheeky two piece there. Three. Uh, careful, Aaron. Careful, careful. Wait for him. Wait for him. Wait for him. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. No, 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 no. He's bailed. He's bailed. Where is he? I actually have not got a clue where he's gone. Um, I think he's bailed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. I think he's bailed, boys. I think he's bailed. Let's see if the arrow is camping in the building, but I'm not going to rush in the building in case there's loads of them. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Got the care package. Come on, Aaron. I keep my head in the game right now. Let's get the care package over there. Ooh, enemy, enemy, enemy. Ooh, no, 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 no. Got him, got him, got the fighter pilot. Nice. Oh, no, we're dropping them, we're dropping them, we're dropping them. And we got clipped by the grenade there, fair play. Hope we can catch some people off guard with this thing. That's one. That's two. Only got the two that time, but I see it as we did manage to get at least someone, you know what I mean, at least, so. I'm not gonna go. I can't really complain if I get two people. So one thing I was gonna ask you guys as well, when it comes to Call of Duty World War Two, the map design, like the map layout, with their like lane systems and stuff. Do you like the way that they design these sort of maps? Like when I play on this particular map, it kind of gives me Rust vibes. I don't know why. It makes me think of Rust, but. I don't know, there's some maps that do that with this sort of game, like, there's a few maps I look at. Obviously, when I see Shipman 1994, it just reminds me of the original one, just with a different coat of paint, basically, as a lot of people tend to call it. Um, but I when it comes to, obviously, you got Occupation, which is a remake of Resistance from Modern Warfare 3, which, obviously, if you were around during the Modern Warfare 3 days and you and managed to experience them like I did, Acetas, you'd know that map is, you know, it originally got a lot of nostalgia to it. Obviously, I know it wasn't really the same when it came to Infinite Warfare, because obviously Infinite Warfare did remake it into Ember, I believe it was called. But Acetas, I like maps that give you kind of like nostalgic throwbacks, you know what I mean? Like, this is, I think that's why I'm going to like, that's why I like Blackout Mode when it comes to Call of Duty Black Ops 4, because. When you look at blackout mode and you look at the maps, you see I see like years and years and years of great maps that I play countless amount of times with a different sort of look to them, just colliding together. For example, if you look at some of the maps in a like uh, that are on the blackout map, you got Array and stuff like that, guys. Nuketown, and I think, wow, I just see nostalgia. You know what I mean? I see constant nostalgia. But I get that sort of vibes when it comes to this game. Even though a lot of these maps are new maps, just the way that they've been designed kind of makes me think of other maps. Like V2 reminds me of Rust a little bit. So I don't know. Just one of them sort of things. 
But let me know down below in the comment section, is there any maps in World War II that kind of remind you of another map from a different Call of Duty game? Enemies at. I don't I got an absolute freaking clue where these are right now. Is that VA? No, I don't think he is. No, 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 I know where they are. They're all around here. Nice. Slice them. Oh, I was going to say slice them and dice them, bro. That's what we need to do. Some cheeky grenades over there. Ah, uh, Aaron Cooper, you potato away. <laughs> I'm laying everyone down right now. Come on. Don't want to keep racking up these deaths. But there we go, my friends. There we go. That was the Jawbreaker 2 heroic variant of the M1941. We went 25 and 9. I think that was a pretty good result. I had a lot of fun using this heroic variant. Let me know down below in the comment section if you got this heroic variant in your collection. Let me know if you still use it or not. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on what you think of the M1941 within Call of Duty World War II. Like I said, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure you turn on the post notification icon to notify you when I upload any new content in the nearby future webs on Call of Duty World War II, Black Ops 4, or anything else, guys. You come to the right place if you want to see daily videos. We've got plenty more stuff still coming your way, so keep your eyes and ears locked onto the channel, and I'll see you again real soon.